There's a lot of really smart people out there that don't really know too much about my history and they just know what other people tell them and they tell them, oh man, he hates the gi, he's disrespecting jujitsu. I dropped the gi for jujitsu. I thought it would make jujitsu and MMA better. Back when he was a purple belt, the instructor of the other guy complained because Eddie was my student and he was a referee. I told the guy, okay, that fight doesn't need a referee. He said, well, why not? Because Eddie's gonna tap on that. And uh, we'll be fine. We just sit around here last few years. And I told him, look, tell him to watch out for his right arm. And the coach thought I was joking. And he just went there, got the guy now barred right there. Then I walk, uh, I walk, raise his arm and look at the guy. Say, I told you, see, no ref. He doesn't know how to make points. He just submit. I remember some a little kid is go to go to the tournament, is all the brothers and cousins excited, you know, everybody start to pack the, the geese. Before we leave, my father said, you know, who win, I give you $10. The ones who gonna lose, I give you $20. Then in the first minute, we're a little kid, we don't understand, hey, you pay more if we lose the fight. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, every, all my brothers come back home with the gold medal, and then I come with the silver because I lost. And that's one thing, you know, he know how to make me feel comfortable and the support for the family, make me feel comfortable to keep going. I could be not here, you know, I cannot train anymore. If you come back home and say, oh, you lose, you this and that, but it's not a big deal, you know. Win and lose is a part of the game. Well, first of all, I like what I do. And then I'm always have a health life. I train all the time. You know, sometimes a little less, sometimes a little more. It's not an obligation. That's the watermelon juice. Straight from the watermelon. It's not something I need to put my suit and go to the bank or go to the office. My suit is my gi. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's, I don't train it because it's an obligation. I train it because I like. Ooh. Crossfit and uh, lift weight and uh, today is uh, Andy. That's the guys that do my condition training. You know, it's back then with nobody training. Too much condition, they don't lift weight. And then I start thinking about, you know, it could be the best jiu-jitsu guy in the world, the best technique. But uh, if you be more strong, not to be strong like show up, be strong you don't hurt yourself the time you train. And this is a very, very important. And the time we start to realize that, you can combine both in a very nice way. And that's the people sometimes they don't combine, they try to be too much strength, too much uh, lift weight, and then less training. And that's not, you know, my main thing is jiu-jitsu, but I need to be strong in my joints and my muscle to don't get hurt. And that's a very important, that's really helped me a lot today. I'm fortunate to have a professional life that's all about fun, you know, there's nothing hard or torturous about going to work and teaching people how to strangle each other and put people to sleep. I, I lucked out. 
40 plus schools worldwide and who knows, maybe one day it'll be 300. I'm not sure. For the sake of my son, that's what I'm pushing for. I mean, whew. before I had my child, everything was prioritized in a whole different way. The second he's born, he cuts in line in front of everybody, in front of every, everyone I've loved my whole life, all my family members. Man, he makes, he makes everything easier. The motivation you get, man. It's, you know, every, everything I do is to make sure he has a secure future. Everything I do is for him. It's a big part of the reason I'm doing the rematch is for him, for his security, for him to be proud of his dad. <laughs> You know what fire means? You know what fire means. We're at my studio. Got some free time. Gonna put the finishing touches on a new Smoke Serpent song. I'm here with Fredo. He's helped me put it together. Awesome producer, engineer. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure you're gonna like this song. Enjoy this one. All right, guys. This is where it all happens. The podcast. Smoke Serpent, uh, some of the remixes goes down right here. I don't know if you can say that music balances me out when there's jujitsu and I need music to balance me out. The music was always there. It probably does balance it all out. It probably does, but I don't do it for that. Running an association that's 45 schools is tough. We don't have time for anything, so I really am not doing music like I want to because there's just no time. I got a family, I got my son, but uh, I'm still producing. But uh, I don't know if I'd call it a balance, but I will always do both no matter if I'm training or not training. Two thousand three one is the best camp I have in my life, and then you be coming to the tournament, and then you lose. It's something like who? Oh, it's shock, you know. It's not only for me, but the, a lot of guys from Jiu Jitsu. And uh, what I can do different, what how I train it different right now. Well, as I'm more mature, you know, I'm more, you know, focused and. I know 100% it's not a little thing is gonna bother me like it last time. And my head today, I'm gonna think only about the fight and that's it. That's all I'm talking about. That's all, all I'm thinking about, you know, I'm thinking about Hoyler. What Hoyler is gonna do there? training hard. I'm, I'm already at weight. I'm in the best shape of my life. I'm, my technique is way different, way better, way stronger. I'm stronger than I was back then. Is he stronger? I, I expect a very strong Hoyler. I expect him to be in the best shape of his life. I expect to see a little yoked uh, Hoyler. That's what I expect. I got lucky. What? What? I got lucky. What? Is his game better than it was in 2003? I know mine is way better. Is he way stronger than he was? Maybe. I know I am. I'm way stronger than I was. I'm loving every minute of it. The nerves and wondering how I'm gonna react when it all goes down. Am I gonna go out there and just perform? Am I gonna go out there and be so nervous I gas out? We get butterflies thinking about which one of those dudes is gonna show up. One thing we know is gonna be 20 minutes. If you don't have a plan, you're gonna die. So all I really gotta do is just trust my squeeze and trust my abilities and just go out there and murder them. One thing I know, I'm gonna be prepared. Is this game better than it was? <laughs> we need to take care of the business. <laughs> 